Okay. Can you guys put some hearts if you can hear me okay? Just so I can make sure, you know. I can't really be looking because I'm driving and I want to be safe. Right? Okay, perfect. How's it going? <laughs> How are you guys? Yay. Um, oh, Karma's on. Hey, how's it going, girl? What's up? How was it yesterday? I didn't get to say bye to you. I'm sorry. There were so many of you I couldn't say bye to and kind of bums me out. I had to head out um, because I, my gosh, my shoulders and the pain. I had like all the equipment on and I feel like I'm still in recovery for that. I need a reference to maybe a good acupuncturist or just Cairo everything for Vegas because it's, it's a doozy right now pull back it's out of it um so i'm sure everyone was exhausted it was like we got our I, I got a second wind right after it was done and then after i went and got everything uploaded i i had to like obviously i took way more images than what were put out i'm gonna be giving josh uh so many photos but um you know, just like with the Star Wars thing, he, he had a, another photographer for that one because I actually have participated in the activism part. Um, there's, there's a bit of a rush to getting the, um, I guess, quality stuff out before other stuff circulates. So thank you. If you were there, um, just thank you. Huge thank you to those who could make it. People don't realize what it costs to come out and do this, you know? It was like a hundred bucks for every activist. I mean, it included everything, the signs, because everything had to be made right and with quality, you know? Um, and then to have those little, people were asking what those little cards were that we were passing around. You know, it, it also came with a little clip bag on the side where you could have that card to pass out. It had a Q reader on it, uh, or the QR reader, so people could scan it. And it takes them to direct.gov sources that are, undisputable <laughs> and and it was just so well done um, Joshua and Olivia really just incredible I love productions with them because it's different it, it's not to say one some are better than others just we all have our preferred way of advocating and I just think that the way that they do it the group that they trust the, the people that they connect with um, it really it's just so much more organized. <laughs> so um, I guess I'll, I'll hop to it with some, some info. If you guys haven't seen it, put it on your list of things to watch. There's an eight minute clip on YouTube that Joshua put together of the V is for vaccine um, the, the, the day yesterday. And he just, it looks great, it looks amazing. So that ripple effect, right? Um, it, it's a big deal, although, I know that it, from the looks of it with the pictures, yeah, like so many are waking up and there's thousands and, but can I just tell you, there are still so many walking dead among us. Um, and at an event like that, like the Comic-Con, you have people that, um, you spare me from having to really offend like everyone or half the audience. I, I won't go there with certain, but you'll literally have like, how do I say this nicely? <laughs> oh man. Oh, I should have thought about this first because I got to word this properly before I get like 10 DMs. You really shouldn't be saying stuff like that about like feminists and like the, you know. You have people who will see a sign that says vaccine manufacturers have no liability and they'll yell at you, read a science book. And you're like, how about read? How about just read, period? How about use some reading comprehension? It was appalling to say the least. And for some of the, and it's always going to be these passive aggressive comments of the people coming by, right? Like, they, they just, they walk by and they'll say something stupid under their breath so that, you know, 
Um, and that was really hard for me. And I only, I kept it together the bulk of the time, except for there were a few instances where I was just like, excuse me, um, because, and, and karma was there for one, because that guy just was getting in your, you don't have a PhD. Where is your PhD? Whoa, 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 what is this? What is it? Just like yelling at these girls. And it's like men too, coming up and yelling at what clearly is a woman, you know, holding up a sign. And oh, the, uh, at that point, just the ignorance, the levels of just, you, you, you just understand, you go, okay, let's, let's find, let's just light the fire under the few, the few and the strong here. The rest of these guys have got to go. They're not going to make it. They're not going to make it. If they won't, they, they just will not be able to, um, so anyway, um, like for instance, uh, UNICEF was there and I found that really interesting because you had um, these guys in these blue shirts. Um, oh, P.S. for any of the comments that came through with the like, you know, isn't, don't you feel like you're kind of ruining someone's day? Like they're at this huge event to just like have fun and be with their family and be with their friends. Don't you think it's like putting a damper on it? Excuse me. UNICEF was there promoting vaccines. Okay. They were right there in their blue shirts, a bunch, of, a bunch of these young millennials, and then they were using this as an upsell, all of what was going on. Hey, would you like to help get vaccines for children in third world countries? And of course, since I'm not masked and they think that I'm just like a tourist, kind of like a passerby, photographing what's going on with, um, with the comic on, uh, I, I was like, no, and by the way, I just want you to know that all of these people here protesting, like at least 90% of them have vaccine injured children. So do you mind maybe um, being a little bit more sensitive to that? Do you, oh, oh yeah, yeah no, I, I, I didn't know that. I didn't, yeah, because they're actually here protesting bills that are being passed that are removing rights that you guys don't know about in this state. So if you wanna talk about like throwing out propaganda like there's booths there to um, register as a Democrat like there were people there with their clipboards trying to register Democrats oh why so that the state of California that's already sinking into the ground can get more of the same Lorena Gonzalez's and Senator Dick Pans like you guys need more of that you need more people in blue um, yelling at you to to allow rights while they're removing them okay California like way to go so honestly when it comes to that I don't even I don't even care like is that really your main concern um, so so anyway the propaganda is gonna be everywhere you just drive like on the freeway on my way home to Vegas I'm gonna pass two signs that say va billboards that say vaccines are your child's best shot you know it's like I want to just enjoy a nice drive home without being like offended by your vaccine pushing agenda. You know, how about that? Um, so there, yeah, there was that too. I wasn't, I, I wasn't masked. It wouldn't make, it wouldn't have made sense for me to be in a mask because um, like, especially when I had to go into like the Hilton courtyard area to get that shot of the above ground shot, I kind of had to follow behind these, um, guests of the Hilton and just kind of like mosey on in there. If I was dressed, they'd been like, stay away. You're part of the Comic-Con. Get out of here. Um, so, so yeah. Um, anyways, I can, I guess I can get into a little bit more with the, uh, I had a comment on, on my Instagram where some people who, I, well, a lot of comments with how do we get involved? How can, how can we be a part of all of this, what you guys do? Like, had I known, we would have all come in and join. Well, here's how you get involved. I mean, on, we're all on social media, right? Um, you have to reach out to people. Like, I'm not gonna just, hey guys, there's this secret co-op thing, like this cover, you know, operation thing that we're doing, who wants to join, <laughs> you know? You have to maybe sometimes cast the first right and and then we know so now I know I know of 20 some odd more of you that if there's ever something down this way again you'd love to be a part of and that's great 
Um, and but we would there, there's not. It, it's not like how I, mean, I guess with the millions march, you know, they make a whole announcement. Hey, there's this millions march. Who want the? But with things like this, you have to reach out to people. That's kind of like the beauty of social media and how it all works. You know, um, I connected with with Joshua because I talk on Instagram and I did a live months ago and tagged him and that that's how like it's like the beauty of social media that's how that connected and then you have whatever can stem from that you know which is great <laughs> I don't have to get into that too much that's how that works but another thing too is like you can look at projects and things going on like this and and see it as just more of like a guideline or pick and choose like oh that that is what I like about that that's what I don't like about that and you have the ability I mean some people saying that they have you know groups of all these parents that want to come in and do stuff like this I got a question for you why are you not getting together and organizing and doing something like that anyways it doesn't take um, you know, in, in other words, it doesn't take having to, like, find these groups online with certain leaders and people in these movements. Do it yourself. Because um, you'll never know. And then that's how you're going to find your tribe. Um, my friend Ray, who I've known forever, um, who knew us and, and knew why we had left California because of SB277, he, he helped yesterday he was helping like with with equipment and um he came in and also volunteered his time and he just didn't realize how much bigger this movement has become um and there's so many people that don't understand the basics they don't understand that like it's not just a bunch of parents that woke up one day and are going up against big pharma and we're just these crazy anti-vaxxers like it's because your rights are being infringed on and that's why there's this huge whole entire movement. Um, so, so yeah, it's it's not that difficult. You can get involved. You can de you can direct message people. You can use you can use private messenger. And you where you are, you know, some comments coming in like, oh, I live in this place, but like, there's no way we'll ever see that many um, anti-vaxxers in a big group like that in a protest. Like, I'll never see that. I mean. That's why I had to do that side-by-side -side comparison. Last year, Josh was at the Comic-Con as well, alone. Alone, holding up a sign. And flash forward to a year later, what it became. So, you don't know. And I understand that many people, that's just not their thing. It's not their way to to go about um, protesting, right? Um, can you guys still hear me? Hopefully it wasn't, it wasn't choppy or anything. Um, but I, I do challenge everyone, if you can at some point for protests and things like this, if you know that something's happening in your area and you're just like, you're, you're too antsy about it, there's no way, you're just like, I cannot do that, I can't. You should at the very least be in a setting like that and witness for yourself that kind of reaction from the opposition. It is worth it to take a look at exactly what we are up against and exactly what we are dealing with because while we're tribing up and while the movement is gaining and, you know, the hate from the other side and the fact that many of them when they don't have any um when they don't have anything left they resort to violence is a thing to witness it's really something to see um I don't know if he's shared it yet, but Joshua kind of got assaulted. There was a guy who like grabbed his equipment and like it, it ripped here and just over like facts over. I'll let, I, he'll, he'll likely explain it in detail, but over uh, not. He, he just didn't believe that there was aborted fetal cells in vaccines. 
And it's like, because you're not going to take the time, buddy, to like go to the CDC website or like read an insert or, you know, then you're going to just resort to that. It's so, I can't even, the word isn't even, like pathetic is not. I think, I heard that somebody had a drink thrown at them. Like it's so, it, it boils down to that. You know, the just inhumanity, the, the no decency from the other side, which is so sad. But it's truly, it's truly something to, something to sit back and see. And I think a lot of the passerbys who were watching and seeing the engaging, you know, um, were, you could see in their face. They were just like, what is this? What, something is wrong here. So, so yeah. It's the same thing with the Star Wars. But I felt like with this one, it was you were obviously in the thick of that kind of, because with the Star Wars thing, it was mostly, you know, because we were right outside the Disneyland, it was mostly people being shuttled in, um, the traffic was mostly cars, and it was not a crazy amount of foot traffic um, compared to this. This was like a hundred times what the Star Wars thing was in terms of foot traffic, and there's no way that those tens of thousands of people there didn't at least see one sign coming into Comic-Con. And we're, you're not even taking into consideration the people that just work in all those surrounding buildings that had to see that and what was going on. Um, the amount of people that took the handouts and the little four by six uh, cards to be able to scan and read through later was just incredible. So definitely worth it and I think a huge success. Um, I saw that Infowars posted on it. I saw some like Reddit user with over a million followers posted about it. So whether whether people's comments were good or bad, the brilliance is that they were posting up photos of signs with actual facts on them. So it's forcing people to now go and like do the fact checking themselves. And they have to do it themselves, especially before the censorship gets um, gets so intense that there's there's no way to to find this information anymore. Um, I heard that the ingredients online were kind of changing. With the the CDC was removing. Um, oh wait, this thing paused on me due to poor connection. My connection is shoddy. Hmm. Sorry, guys. It totally froze. I'm probably going to have to do another another one if it doesn't reconnect soon. I'll jump right back on.